through from here uh, up to the Cloister Garden uh, for the little ceremony there that uh, Ed Hoffman's going to um, lead for you. And if you could come straight back to the coach, please, because we need to get back to you, Lump, because it's cutting into your drinking time. Right. 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 Oh, right. Uh, that's, that's the message. flashing lights we oh I know the ghost, yeah. the ghost of Dorchester we saw all in flashing lights in there one night I used to have the habit of wandering to the cemetery Coming back to England after the war, I mean, 
30 some years past, I came and looked around Dorchester, looked around. First of all, I came in on a bus from Oxford. The big shock was to see, look to my right, blast to my right, and see a sailboat sailing out in the middle of a field. Actually, they had dug out and made a, a gravel pit and filled it with water, and it was in the recreational area, but it was a great shock to this change. You always have change. And of course, came to the Abbey, one of the few things that did not change much. Uh, it had changed in it, it been cleaned up a lot, and looked a lot better than the wartime days. And in that abbey, I met a uh, man. I, I spoke up at the museum shop and I said, Does anybody here ever remember the Americans? And a fellow named John Pratt spoke up and said, Yes, I was nine years old. He used to come out and you know, let me sit in the airplane for a while and had a, had a day for the kids. So anyway, we became fast friends and uh, we talked about something to remember and where a place to put it, some place to be permanent. And the most permanent place we could feel well was, was the Abbey. And the picker agreed to it, and uh, John and his sons and, uh, got busy. They found a piece of the runway. This is part of the old main runway of Mount Farm. And I went back to America and we cast a track. And, and anyway, we got it all together and uh, put it here. And uh, I'd like to recognize John Pratt and his wife, Doreen. John's back here. He looks like uh, Here's John Paul Eggleston. Hello, Ann.